so one of my dear subscribers requested me to play today National Geographic and like I can't say no uh, my channel is pretty much all about me having fun but like with other people to just enjoy <laughs> and stuff so uh, I actually never thought I was gonna like try out uh, this especially because I don't really do applications right the only applications that i very familiar with like are mainly like social right like big screen and uh alt space and maybe rec room right uh but like the this apps like this visual environment 3d 360 i'm not really like into because i like playing games right uh what is there interesting is that when I was downloading that, it appeared to be the heaviest application I have in my whole library. And uh, this is huge because I played so many games, but National Geographic is so far the heaviest on the um, memory side. I think it was like 3.5 gigabyte, which is kind of like con comparable with Republic and Vader Immortals. So, you know, I, I don't know how to judge an app, right? Because games have their graphics and their design, graphical. This should be the most realistic as possible, right? Because this is like real life. It's not like virtual reality. It's kind of like real reality into virtual reality. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so apparently it's like half an hour gameplay, playtime, whatever, and it's gonna be fine, I hope. I mean, it was not even like expensive, it was maybe like 10 euro, which is not that much, right? Uh, but I don't know what to expect, but I should be expecting something gorgeous environment, right, I think. That's kind of like what National Geographic is about, about beauty of the nature. <laughs> so I think we are going to travel through different areas like like Antarctica, Machu Picchu, just like those famous, um, I don't know, like attraction, attractions, nature's attractions. Welcome to National Geographic Explore VR. Hell yeah. Oh, and other app I played was Wonder, which is basically Google Street. Hi, I'm Natalie, your National Geographic editor. Today, okay. Today, you're headed out on an expedition, and we'd like you to send us photographs of your journey. Okay. But first, let me show you how to move around. Look at your left hand to see the controls. Push the left joystick with your thumb, <sighs> then aim your controller at where you want to go. When you're ready, release the joystick. Do Take we... your time to explore the base and move to the marker when you're ready. Do we really ha have no smooth recognition? I mean, National Geographic, from what I can remember, was released alongside with Quest on the release day. So, yeah, there seems to be no menu or whatever, so it's gonna be teleport Great. only. As a National Geographic explorer, your photos have the potential to make people curious about the world we share. So let's take your first National Geographic photo. To start, look down and pick up the camera using the... Take a peek through the viewfinder. Awesome! <laughs> you can zoom in or out by rotating the lens. Rotating the Hold lens. Hold your left hand in front of the camera and grab the lens with the highlighted button. Rotate... Perfect! Oh, wow! Okay. Now, nice. To take a picture, simply press the trigger with your index finger. Stove. Great picture! <laughs> I'm glad we have a professional on board. That's all you need to know about the camera. It's a cool mechanic to close done. by the camera to your Let's face. Let's go over the controls one more time in the options menu. Oh, there's options? Okay. Open it by... In the options menu, look at your hands to see the controls. When you're ready, point and click on the resume button. Voice chat. Wait. Snap rotation. No, there's like nothing happening. Okay. That's fine. Okay. It's not important. I think we've covered the basics. You're ready to set off. Pick a location and hit the explore button. You can select different destinations and see their location on the globe. 
There are only two destinations, Machu Picchu and Antarctica. Don't tell me, that's weird. Um, so, I've, I mean, if we were talking about the environment, obviously it looks like an upgraded Oculus Home, right? That's kind of like what we would want. Yeah, can I go out? No. No, because... Because not. Where are we actually? Is this like... I think it's America. Move to the marker Whatever. when you're ready to start exploring. Please turn a pick a location and hit the explore button. Of course we were going on to Antarctica. Like hell. Uh, that's just my territory. Snow and death, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh okay, to start. <laughs> hey, up here! It's me, Mike! Hi. Good to see you're ready. After 10 days cooped up aboard, you must be keen to get going and to make the most of your time here on the Antarctic Peninsula. The colony of emperor penguins we've been studying seems to have moved. We're here to find it. As you search by kayak, I'll track your progress and stay in touch via your headset. You never know what's going to happen out there. And it's my job to stay aboard and keep you and the other explorers safe. <laughs> the kayak will be carried forward by the tide, so it should be easy going. It's a bit misty out here on the open water, but it'll clear up as you head in. Okay, get in the kayak, and off you go! Hi, I would like to play. Uh, sit on the floor or don't sit on the floor? Uh, I'm fine. I won't get uh, motion sickness. Oh, so here is the camera. What the hell? Ah, that's cool! Okay. Wait. I think I know how to steer kayak. Yeah. <laughs> I should be sitting down, right? That's fine. Okay. Maybe I don't know how to do that. That's really cool. Interactive. I would even say it's a game. It's not like an app for me anymore. Keep an eye out for other wildlife and enjoy the scenery. I love it out here. <laughs> if we're talking about graphics, we're on Quest now. And for a title that released alongside Quest in May. That's really good. And this game is not even like it's without foveated rendering. Like the graphics are not uh, like optimized, but it did still looks fucking awesome. If you're feeling energetic, you can get busy with the paddle. My hands. Paddle? What's a paddle? My hands are sore already. I would not survive in Antarctica. Are those seals? Your photos will be a valuable hey. addition to our research. I'll tell you more about the wildlife you encounter and the Antarctic environment as you go along. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot remember how to like stop. <laughs> so cute. Wait, that's, those are not seals. They have teeth or whatever. What the hell? <laughs> Shit. Hold, hold. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh uh. This is the global warming. Get them. Oh shit! A, a shark? There's a shark there. I'm not going there. Hell no. 
Oh, I have to because there is a stream. Awesome. No. Uh uh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> there are no. Oh, that's not sh shark. It's a fucking whale. No, orca. Yeah. <laughs> I do fucking hope so. <gasps> Penguins. <laughs> there are no sharks in Antarctica, right? I don't remember from biology. I think no, because the temperature of their bodies are not suitable for cold waters like that. I don't know though. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> hey, those are some emperor penguins. Probably hunting for fish. Maybe you'll find the colony up ahead. Steady now. The strength of the current increases in this narrow passage. Hell yeah! Oh, that's a good shot. Okay. Shit, it's getting a little bit fast. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> We're not Titanic. Ah, I don't know if I got him. Shit. <laughs> ah. Oh, what the hell? <clears throat> hell yeah, racing. So far, I'm not bothered at all. This is a really good. Um, oh, fucking hell! <laughs> oh, I think this is ice. I oh, know, maybe there's uh, flying fishes. Oh, yeah, because they have. Not wings, what's it called? But I don't remember in Antarctica there are flying fishes. I thought they are in uh, Amazonia. If I'm not. Wrong? Penguins, come on. Oh, you're standing very nicely. I'll take a picture of you. Go. <gasps> Shit. Yeah, pose for me. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Asshole! <laughs> what? <laughs> I swear I get scared in the most like harmless games ever. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Okay. Maybe she will like come on the surface or something. And they can be hard to spot. They feed on swarms of krill, which feast on the blooms of plankton living in a layer of fresh water melted from the glaciers. Not yet. What are you dancing to? <laughs> oh, let me just pass that. Great. Looks like you've only encountered a few hunting penguins, not the main colony. 
You were right. It must have moved. Hello. You'll have to continue your search <laughs> field camp located on the oh, ice shelf. Get the shot. Just yeah, the dick. Glide up onto the sea ice and get out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we we can go by foot, feet, whatever. We'll go climbing. Oh my god. Okay, give me the camera and let's go. See the established climbing route leading to the camp? Time to get your climbing gear out. Shit, I wish there would be Oh wait, now I can choose. Voice chat. You can invite a friend to voice chat with while you're exploring. Ah, I mean I don't have friends. <laughs> yeah, yes, there's movement and free. <gasps> shit, shit, shit. I hope it will work because if yes, then this is amazing then. Because all I want is a smooth locomotion in this. <gasps> oh, right, hell yes. Time to climb up this ice shelf and get to the field camp. From there, okay. you can continue to search for the penguin column. Use the axes to climb up the ice. It's easier than you think. Whoa. Just follow the orange ice screws to find your way up. <laughs> also, don't mind the things that are on the ceiling in real life for me. Um, I'll tell you. <laughs> In the next videos, what's going to happen? Shit. So this is like, shit. I a cable. <laughs> this is like a mini the climb. Then okay. Wow! Look at that. It's a minky whale and her young. Minky whales are much smaller than most other whales. Okay. Adults only reach about 25 feet long. This is an ideal photo opportunity. If you say so. Ah, okay. It kind of like tells what photos I should do also. Okay. From here you can continue climbing directly up to the next rest point or to your left there's a tougher route to it. Shit, the cables. <laughs> Well done. You're about half. Where's this cable? I need to move somehow. Does it from here, as the ice can be brittle near the top. Okay. Oof. Pretty good. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I need still to work on the cable management here but I think you can uh, guess uh, what's that <sighs> unstable ah because there's a like deep ice and like not the one I should be touching um <laughs> God damn. The top big. Oh. Oh my god. Awesome. You've made it to the top. I can just about see you from the ship. Give me a wave. <laughs> there. <laughs> okay, there's a storm closing in fast, and night is falling. You need to head to the field camp as soon as possible. Okay. I'm actually really surprised by the gameplay we have going on. Over there.
<clears throat> Look at them. Here. <laughs> oh, maybe here. I know. Okay. Yeah, Oh, shit. Okay. This is even like interactional. Where's the entrance though? Oh, cute. <laughs> no one's been here since last season. See if that lamp is fueled up and ready to go. We still rely on kerosene. This is so cool. Batteries simply don't hold their charge in these temperatures. Um Okay. No, I have. This is the civilian bag, right? I thought this is the 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 one. Oh my god, I feel like I'm on Antarctica, like holy shit. Oh there. Ah, here. Might stand a better chance of finding the tent if you can see better. What is it? Ah! Personal locator beacon. Okay, I need, but it's too loud here. Oh my god. A flag? Ah, here's my tent. Keep hold of that sleeping bag and get to the tent. Okay. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> hey, you're awake. The storm has passed, so you can continue searching for the colony. Great. Is this multi tool or something? No, this is for the ropes also. Hey, pe 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 pe. Okay. Yeah, let's go. I mean, hell. Jesus, this is so immersive. <laughs> I'm. I don't know what I expected. <gasps> Penguin! Oh my god. <laughs> I think I know what's called actually. It's the. Because in Skyrim I didn't know. I don't think the episode's still released, but. Um, it's called the Polar Nights. I think. <laughs> I hope I'm not again misspelling the meaning. Beauty shot. Nice. Woohoo! <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? That's the colony. Amazing. You found it. Take a photo to document your discoveries. The closer ones are real, the later ones are like wooden planks or something. Okay, let's do that. You see, there are different colors, so they are not like. Sure. Okay. It was been nice, but my ears are blowing off. Is that the sentence? I think this is the flare, right? Flares. Come on! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, okay. Okay. 
pilot has confirmed your position. Sit tight and she will land nearby. Oh. It's in real. <laughs> Jesus. That was interesting. Jesus. Ah, we're already at home. Ah, god damn it. Welcome back. Wow. Well. Amazing work finding the Emperor Penguin colony. Your discovery will improve our understanding of these wonderful birds. Hmm. Thanks for completing a photo assignment. Look around the base. National Geographic editors seem to really like your photo. Take a look at the photos you took over at the photo desk. I didn't took that. <laughs> okay. Oh, a phone. <laughs> Not Apple. Uh, on the desk, I'm okay, right here. You can drag your favorite photos to the frames on the wall. This is pretty cool. Give it a try. That looks great. <laughs> You can also share your best shots to Facebook. Why not venture out again and try some of our optional photo assignments? You can learn about them when you select an activity. Okay. So... Who's calling me? Natalie? Don't forget, you can voice chat with a friend while oh, you're... Oh, come on. Get out, Natalie. So we did Antarctica and the only one that's left is Machu Picchu. I'm really surprised that are, there are not other ones. Like, this game would be like insane with like so many local localizations that you could go. Um, I I don't know what's Machu Picchu to be honest. I, I think I can go. I was looking forward for Antarctica mostly. Uh, and I wanted to finish on that. Let's just see real quick what's Machu Picchu because I'm not entirely sure. And I don't even know where is it. I think it's Oh. Oh. Oh hello. Welcome to Machu Picchu, Peru. Feel free to look around. Peru, okay. When you're ready, head to the yellow marker to learn more about what you can do. Hello. I can't touch you. Tico tico. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. So it's in Peru. Peru is in... Oh my god. Uh, South America? <laughs> I don't know. Meet our local expert, Jose. Can you give us an introduction? Hola, nice to meet you. Bienvenido a Machu Picchu. An Inca royal is this Spain? Wait. Peru? And the no, it's that South America. Spain. <laughs> Machu Picchu's existence was largely unknown until Yale University professor Hiram Bingham took an expedition through Peru and okay. discovered it in 1911. He took a lot of photos. Mm -hmm. Some of them were published in National Geographic magazine. Today, Whoa. we'll also be taking photos for the magazine, including a very special cover shot. I pulled some strings so you can stick around after dark for a one-of-a-kind cover shot. Go ahead and explore Whoa. the site. I've tagged the areas we could photograph for the magazine. Good Where luck. are the stairs? See, good luck and have fun. What the hell? Ah, okay. So it's kind of like I don't know what's called like Mayans, no, or no, oh yes, like the ancestors Here that you were can start in a photo assignment. Peru. To start this photo session, look at the palm of your left hand. See the interface? Yeah. Oh, okay, so these are the shots I should take. <laughs> okay, uh, I mean, do we really need to do the Machu Picchu? I feel like Antarctica was a really, really cool one. And this is just gonna be kind of like... Area as a backdrop for an article about arriving oh. at Machu Picchu through the ages. Like, uh, mostly history, I feel Look like, right? Of your left hand. Can you spot the interface? There's something like... Blinking there, uh, but yeah, hat on my head, and we can exit to the base. Uh, I wonder if there's something else to do in the home screen, like home base or whatever. I don't think so, other than just like placing you know the pictures. Uh, so Natalie, don't sext me. Don't forget. 
Get out. <laughs> Do we have something in the fridge? Uh, there's no attention to detail. <laughs> uh, okay, I wonder if I will leave the Oculus now. Okay, great. So let's leave now. Okay. Uh, damn, I... I <laughs> It it was actually really surprising. I I did not think that I would like encounter like a, a kind of high end application. It sucks that there are only two locations. I wish there would be way more. I wonder if oh shit. Uh, wait 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 because I fucked up. But like you know, I wonder if there is um, like because. This game application, whatever, was released in May, so it already passed on over half year. So it's actually a bit surprising that it's not updated. I would think that people would be more interested in this game way more if it's gonna be like updated with additional locations. But uh, you mean? I mean, yeah, I. That's a thing. So, uh, this, I, I would consider that a short, yeah, actually like half an hour kind of, uh, gameplay. Uh, I don't know how long it took me the Antarctica one though, but I would say it's like, it's 10 euros. So for the experience of the environment and the length of it, I would say it's Fair, yeah, it's 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 okay. It's fair, I think, uh, because you know, I feel like it's also the beginner uh, application. You know, when you are giving quest to someone else new to the virtual reality, I think that's actually uh, also the good uh, application to give them and experience for the first time virtual reality, just like you know. Uh, first steps like I don't know other games like Space Pirate uh, Trainer or whatever. Uh, I actually expected some sh something really shit <laughs> because you know Quest is still a mobile device, so obviously there could not be like a huge high-end graphics, but like this one was pretty good. I mean, it was not like realistic, realistic. You know, but it was, I feel like the closest we could get on Quest for now to the realistic uh, image in virtual reality space, right? So I'm not, I'm not actually, I'm actually not mad that I tried that. Like I had fun uh, on the Antarctica. Uh, I wish I, I could go there also in actually in person, but hey, it was pretty cool. So, you know, if you like, Graphic porn, <laughs> that's fa that's a good uh, application to do that. Not jer not not jerk off. Uh, experience the graphics. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just go and not just end my career here. 